Hello, my name is Adam and I'm pre-sales consultant at Stormit. Stormit as an AWS Select Consulting Partner can help you make the most of what AWS Cloud has to offer. Today we will take a look on Amazon Cloud Front Origin Access Identity, OAI. When you set up an Amazon S3 bucket as the origin of an Amazon Cloud Front distribution, you give everyone permission to read these files in the bucket. This allows anyone to access your files through CloudFront or using an Amazon S3 URL. If you enable CloudFront OAI, your users are not able to use S3 URL, but more about that later. So, at first, we will take a look at what is CloudFront Origin Access Identity, then on Amazon S3 Static Website Endpoint and OAI, and why they don't work together. And I will try to answer questions like, why should you actually use OAI and how does it work? And as a last thing, we will take a look into the AWS Management Console for a quick demo of how to set it up. So what is CloudFront OAI? It is a simple function of CloudFront distribution that you can enable when you select Amazon S3 buckets as origin. The problem it solves is that normally the files in your S3 buckets have to be publicly accessible. With OAI, they are accessible only by cloud from distribution. Basically, OAI prevents users from viewing your S3 files by simply using the direct link, like the one you see, and your users can only use the URL of your CloudFront distribution, like the one you see, or if you have any CNN available, they can use only that. And what about Amazon S3 Bucket Static Website Endpoint and OAI? Simply, you are not able to use OAI for the S3 Bucket Website Endpoint. These two functions do not work together because you are only able to set the OAI for S3 bucket directly, as you can see the S3 URL here. And you are not able to enable it for its website endpoint, as you can see the S3 website URL. I just want to say that one of the main reasons for using the S3 static website hosting function is that you can very simply use routing policies. This is will not work if you use the OAI function in CloudFront. The only way to set permissions when using CloudFront and the S3 website endpoint is through restricting access to files on CloudFront custom origins or serving private content with signed URLs and signed cookies. So why should you use CloudFront S3 OAI? Essentially, what we don't want is users to be able to browse to our S3 bucket using the S3 URL. We want to force them to use the CloudFront URL. Within OAI, CloudFront sends authenticated requests to your S3 buckets. This means you can block public access to your S3 bucket while still allowing CloudFront to get objects from the bucket instead of going directly to your origin. Furthermore, Data are more secure and it's simple to monitor who has access to them. Access to your files should be generally faster when only CloudFront URL is used to deliver your objects instead of S3 because the objects are copied to the edge in order to be stored closer to your users. It can help you reduce the overall costs of data transfer out because serving data directly from S3 costs more than serving them through CloudFront distribution. If you want to know more, watch our video about this. So how does CloudFront OAI work? CloudFront OAI works by first creating a CloudFront user permission called an origin access identity and associating it with your distribution. Then it gives the OAI permission to read the files in your S3 bucket and as the last step, you can then remove permission or you should remove the permission for anyone else to use Amazon S3 URLs to read these files. And for our demo, 
Let's assume that we have an S3 bucket with videos that we need to share publicly through CloudFront distribution. We also need to cost optimize data transfer out and we want to hide our S3 URLs. So we need to be sure that our users are only able to use CloudFront URLs. Okay, so let's look into the AWS management console on how to enable OAI for this infrastructure. So I am in the AWS management console and first we will look at our S3 bucket where I have already prepared my videos that we need to share through CloudFront distribution. So I will go to S3 and to my example bucket here. So it test videos, storm it. And as you can see, I have one forger here, which is named videos. And I just want to show one thing. And it's the bucket policies here. As you can see, there is no policies to display. And all public access are off. So basically, this, this bucket is publicly accessible. And my files are also publicly accessible. So I can just open my example video and click on my object URL and my video should play and it's normally from S3 URL where you can see it's in the folder videos and it's my mpeg4 file. So I will go back to my S3 buckets and what I want to do now is to create simple CloudFront distribution. So I will go to CloudFront and create my distribution and the origin will be my bucket which is the one with videos and it's chosen so the second thing what i want to do is to go to s3 bucket access and choose yes use oai and I will create new OAI that can be named, named like Stormit videos and create it. And I will wait. It will be chosen automatically because it's the only one what I have here. And yes, I want to update the bucket policy that will allow read access to the OAI and one thing what I want to tell here is that if I have this bucket as a website, so a website endpoint, this will not work because as you can see, I have chosen my S3 buckets, no, no website endpoint or anything like that. And the S3 bucket access is accessible now. And if I choose the website endpoint here, it will not work. So basically, this these two things not work together i don't have to change anything here i will just create distribution and go to my cloud from distribution after a couple of seconds okay and as you can see it's deploying i will wait a couple of seconds or minutes so our CloudFront distribution is created after a couple of minutes and I can test if it works but first I will need the URL so I will just copy this one to my second tab and videos and I will go back to S3 and I will want my first file name I think it's okay here and videos and it's clouds one mpeg4 and I will just open the link and as you can see now my first video is accessible through CloudFront so it should be caged now I can just click again and Go back to S3 and click on 
buckets and our test videos buckets and to permissions and as you can see here is our new bucket policy that is basically about my new CloudFront origin access identity that I've created in CloudFront and it has policy to action S3 get object so it should be fine but now what I want to do is go back to objects and try to visit my video through S3 ring so object URL here and it still works it's normally publicly accessible and what i want to do now is go back to my bucket and go back to permission and edit my block public access permission to block all public access i will change it to block it and just click on confirm now it should be blocked so i will go back to my objects videos my first video and go to my url and as, as you can see the access is denied so it works now what i want to do is uh, go back to my cloud distribution and i just want to check if it works so I will again copy my domain name here and just put it here and open it again. And as you can see, it works. So the OAI for this platform distribution works. And I want to show you how to create an OAI for already created distribution. I already have one here, but first go to security and origin access identities and my origin access identity is already here i can create a new one i can just do this it's no problem so uh, it can be named stormy videos 2 and create a new one and go back to my distributions and click on the second distribution so it should be this one and i will go back to origins and you can see one origin is here it's my s3 bucket and i will edit it and here is s3 bucket access so i can choose Yes, use OAI again and select my second origin access identity. And again, I want to update the bucket policy. I can click on save changes and go back to my distributions. And it will take time till it's deployed, but it's no problem. I can go back to S3 and look to my bucket policies for a new policy so I will open my bucket and go to permissions and as you can see there is a new policy here it's basically the same one but for the second origin access identity so it should work from the second distribution also so this is everything for our demo we can go back to our presentation so thank you for watching if you want to see more videos about aws services subscribe to our channel or if you want to learn more about other services visit our website and blog links are in the description below and if you have any questions don't hesitate to contact us